Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a common trouble code that might show up on your car's OBD scanner, the PO328 code. This code indicates knock sensor circuit high input. If your engine's been knocking or you've noticed decreased performance, this video is for you. Let's dive in it. The PO328 code means there's an issue with your car's knock sensor. This sensor monitors the engine for knocking or pinging sounds, which can happen when the air fuel mixture is off. If the sensor detects a problem, it sends a high voltage signal to your car's IQ. But when the signal is too high, you'll get the PO328 code. When the knock sensor fails, the engine can lose performance and efficiency, and you might experience symptoms like poor fuel economy, sluggish acceleration, or even pinging noises from the engine. Faulty knock sensor, over time, the knock sensor can wear out or fail. Damaged wiring or connectors, corroded or broken wiring can cause issues with the knock sensor signal. Engine mechanical problems, sometimes, engine issues like a misfire can trigger the knock sensor. ECM issues, in rare cases, the ECM itself could be at fault. Tools you'll need, OBD to scanner, multimeter, ratchet set, torque wrench, Replacement knock sensor if needed. Locate the knock sensor, which is usually mounted on the engine block or intake manifold. With your multimeter, check the resistance between the two terminals of the knock sensor. The resistance should be within the manufacturer's specified range, usually between 93 and 100 ohms for most vehicles. If the resistance is off, the sensor is bad and needs replacing. Once you've replaced the sensor and checked the wiring, reconnect your OBD to scanner. To clear the PO328 code, start the engine and take it for a test drive to make sure the check engine light stays off. And there you have it, we've successfully diagnosed and fixed the PO328 knock sensor. Malfunction, remember, if you're not comfortable working on your car, it's always a good idea to take it to a professional, but with the right tools and a little know-how, this is a repair that most dyers can handle. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more automotive repair content. See you next time.